and I are here for a reason. We all have an underlying mission to do our best and do good and leave a legacy in this world. And when you see reality in this way, your life changes. True, you have responsibility, but you also have something much more precious that makes it all worth it. You have purpose and meaning. Hi, I'm Catalin Matei. I'm the founder of Increase Media and a couple of other projects. And my mission is to empower people to be the best version of themselves and to reach their full potential. And my intention is that through this material and other materials that I'm producing, I can bring out some new insights and information so that you can take your life and reach your potential and go to where you want to go. Enjoy. There is, there is a, a sacred, sacred connection, connection between, between body, body and mind. And mind. Together, they hold the secret to what is currently perceived as superpowers. And during the last decade, more and more names have come to the mainstream showing that what we have in the past considered as mere exceptions, anomalies, or even superpowers are actually enabled and innate in each and every one of us. Scientific breakthroughs are happening at an unprecedented rate all around the world, raising human consciousness to a new level of what is possible an empowered human being. And the more we come to this understanding of ourselves and the universe, the more we realize that we've barely touched the surface of our own potential, which begs the question, if this is possible, what else could we do? Unnecessary suffering going on, and all these industries keeping on and say, yeah, that's normal, and I think that's sick. If it turns out that non-ingestible approaches, such as breath work or cold exposure, can approach some of the potency that medications can provide or have failed to provide, then it's quite possible that one can heal from the inside. Guess what? We found the proof to tap into our body and mind enabling us to become happy, strong, and healthy. Is it possible that new thoughts that lead to new choices, that lead to new behaviors, that create new experiences, that lead to new emotions and new feelings, that could inspire new thoughts, begin to change your biology, would you begin to see significant changes in the brain as well as the body? And our research proves that when you change, everything changes around you. Common people around the world doing the uncommon, in a sense, becoming supernatural. You can actually change the past. You can learn, change, and transfer overnight. So there's a circuit for winning. Similarly, there's a circuit for quitting. There's an, a norepinephrine circuit in the brainstem. With a greater sense of understanding comes a greater sense of wonder and a greater realization that we are part of and not apart from the rest of nature. You are as equipped as you possibly can be to best fulfill your purpose in life. We are not victims of our circumstances. You and I have been born with the tools to create our own reality and achieving the so-called impossible. One of the powerful voices of our times, a person who has been challenging the status quo and doing that so-called impossible, is Wim Hof, the Iceman. A man who over the years has been seen as an exception. A circus guy who is there for you to watch and be entertained, but not much else. Well, not anymore. Today, the name of Wim Hof is linked to scientifically proven methods that show your capacity to take direct control over your body and mind. This includes auto-regulating your neurochemistry and basically taking charge of your immediate body reaction. Wim Hof, like most of us, 
hasn't had a life free of hardship and trauma, but has rather learned to transcend them by deciding that he himself is the only person who can decide what he can or cannot do. That's what made him a winner. Nowadays, he's best known for his breeding technique, which gained massive popularity all around the world once he decided to put himself in front of the line and let scientists research his body reaction in front of disease and foreign pathogens, having his technique as his sole defense. We, uh, we researched Wim Hof himself uh, in this uh, endotoxemia model in which we uh, intravenously administer bacterial um, endotoxin, lipopolysaccharide, it's also call, called. And in, in Wim Hof himself, we saw that he had virtually no symptoms uh, that normally occur after people get injected with, uh, with this compound. And he also had remarkably low levels of inflammatory proteins in his blood exceptionally high levels of uh, certain hormones such as epinephrine. So then we set out to uh, prove this in a group of uh, subjects that would be trained by WIM and uh, compare them with a group that would not be trained by WIM. And therefore we wrote a grant to the Dutch proposal to the Dutch uh, Rheumatology Society and they granted us with, uh, with the money to do the trial. Uh, the study and uh, in that study we had uh, 12 subjects uh, that were trained by Wim Hof uh, partly in Poland partly in, in the Netherlands in the cold exposure the breathing technique and the meditation and we had a control group that was not trained and uh, both of these groups so in total 24 healthy volunteers they were injected with this endotoxin again you can say with a kind of certainty with statistical certainty that uh, the effects that you observe are real. You did that experiment. What were the results and what was, first of all, your first reaction maybe to the results? Because now it's not just women, it's a lot of other people. And maybe what are the implications of the results? The most important results for, uh, for us were the inflammatory proteins in the blood. And what we saw was that the levels of inflammatory mediators in the blood of the trained subjects <clears throat> were much lower than those in the control group. So um, that pointed towards, uh, that of that actually indicated that the, uh, the subjects that were trained by WIM could uh, actively and voluntarily suppress their immune response to this injection with uh, endotoxin. And what does that mean? It means that uh, systems that normally are uh, that are really considered to be autonomous, so the autonomic nervous system, because we all also found very high levels of, of epinephrine again in the blood of these trained uh, volunteers and not in the blood of the control group. So this implicates that uh, what I said, systems that are normally thought to be completely autonomous, namely the autonomic nervous system, but also the immune system, uh, are uh, influenceable through yeah, relatively er, er, uh, easy to learn techniques. The reaction of Wim's body changes the game, not just for autoimmune diseases based on inflammatory responses, but almost any disease now known as inflammatory based. This discovery is prone to affect deep hypotheses in modern medicine. And if you look closer, Wim's deeper mission is to lift the limitations and preconceptions we have set over our body and mind. Wim doesn't want to be perceived as special, but as someone who has only discovered what you and I can also do if we choose to. Because I am in command of my breath, and with that, I become in, in command of my alchemy. And I'm able then to send and to manipulate any part of my body. Breathing techniques and meditation can not only regulate your overall state, creating good mental health, but also stimulate the autonomic nervous system, changing the neurochemistry of your body. Before Wim's experiment, the notion that you can influence the autonomic nervous system was thought to be idiocy, because if you could control the system, you could forget to breathe or you'd make your heart stop, but that is simply not the case. Wim was able to demonstrate that his techniques can increase anti-inflammatory mediators by 200%, as well as decrease inflammation now 50%. Now that is something.
we have looked specifically at autonomic nervous system activity and immune response, immune system activity, and we saw that those were uh, significantly modulated by, uh, by these techniques. That was surprising because I'm a scientist, so normally I don't believe anything until it's proven. Uh, so this is, uh, I, was, I was very surprised. I, I gave it like maybe 10% chance that we could find, get the findings that we, that we actually ended up with. Uh, so when I got the results, I was, I was uh, blown away actually uh, by them. I was really uh, uh, surprised. Yeah, Long-term or chronic inflammation is very damaging for the body and can result in life-threatening conditions. In COVID-19, we had exactly that, an overboard inflammatory response. And even though COVID-19 became a controversial topic about its severity, no one denies that we will face new and possibly more dangerous respiratory diseases that can cause future waves of pandemics. It can happen this fall, next year, or in the following years. It's, it's an inflammatory syndrome that's associated with inflammation that is probably set up by the COVID virus. And ARDS is how the coronavirus kills. It's not just the coronavirus, but many other viruses, including the influenza virus that we have every year. You get a viral infection, the virus affects your lungs. And with ARDS, the entire lung becomes inflamed. Respiratory virus can be spread by one person and it can infect uh, uh, tens or, or hundreds of people at, at one time. The ability to cross the species barrier, the ability to become established in humans, and then for one human to pass it to another. Those are the three features you need in order to create a, a epidemic or a pandemic. Novel emerging virus infections like sars corona or mers coronavirus. Um, that potentially could be a huge problem in the future. With new viruses, this can all, uh, is often a completely new situation. Pandemics have always been associated with panic. If history teaches us anything, it is that while pandemics may start small, their impacts can be as dramatic as wars and natural disasters. Our body knows the answer about how to heal itself and we have the proof. When times are showing our vulnerabilities, we have found a way to fight back. In the end, it is a document. It is a document that is going to last. That is good. It is good about something new. And yes, I've done this a thousand times. Uh, all kinds of interviews, uh, podcasts, and even documentaries are made a lot already. But <clears throat> I'm growing, I'm growing, I'm always renewing. And if you let me, then I show you where I go from where I have left off. So all the past has been a foundation. And from there, you see new, you see more. And my vision is saying what, what, what you have been saying, the superhuman abilities of a person is the new normal. And I think so too, because I'm not a superhuman, do. I was in the series, superhumans, extraordinary people, people who go beyond what science thought is possible. I was all that, and I am all that. No, I am the new normal. I'm just showing what the body and mind is capable of more than we thought possible. And that is worth a documentary. And that is worth to show while I am talking that uh, in the documentary, you could make it like graphically show what is going on, what is new, what is different than what we think is possible, what is more than what we think is possible, and then show it graphically so people are able to understand what they are capable, really capable of. It is like the first time somebody ran the 100 meters within 10 seconds, then in like hundreds of years, nobody ran as fast. 
But one year later, 10, 15 people could do it. You see, it is the change, it's in the mind. If we bring something new that is really based on experience and science, that there is no speculation, then people can adopt the idea. When they adopt the idea, then suddenly they have a different connection with their body through their mind. That is paradigm change. And it always begins with people like yourself. This work you do is like being a podcast. It's a window. It's not uh, only me and you talking. It is 100,000, 200,000, million. I don't know how many people, but it will reach a lot of people. And this is a document that is going to stay and it's going to provide the people with the possibility to get to know new physiological laws, new abilities awaiting the people to comprehend by the idea. And that's what we are here all about today. It is a complete new podcast, new information, and you better listen up because we love you. So, Wim, to start off, I, looking out into the world right now, um, I feel the world is upside down. Um, instead of perceiving health, happiness, and connection as the norm, we perceive being sick, unhappy, and disconnected as the normal, and even more so, we blame this on the system. We don't take personal responsibility for this. It feels to me that we've lost our powers. We have lost the belief that we can create our own reality and we can, we, we can create and change. We, using our minds, we can change our bodies. We can change and create our own reality. We have lost our superpowers. Civilized to death. We are over civilized. We use all kinds of extended tools to comfort our lives. But when it comes to an unseen uh, enemy, like a virus or bacteria, we have no defense. We have lost the connection within. We are too dependent on cars, on houses, on heat, on cooling, all, all kinds of things our bodies do no longer really are stimulated into the depth. And what I am coming up with is a, a possible reconnection with the deeper physiology we all own. But it is not awakened. So uh, when a physiology is not fully awakened, then bacteria, virus, biological stress, mental stress, emotional stress, it all hits on the person and it has no adequate response. I say we have to not only wear masks and social distancing, that is not a real solution. The real solution is within ourselves. That is our inner nature, our inner power, which is composed by the immune system, the endocrine system, the hormonal system, and the vascular system. Those systems can be much better within our control than now is believed through science. And that we have shown through non-speculative scientific research to be done just in a couple of days. In a couple of days, we have shown that the autonomic nervous system, which was considered to be not controllable by humans, which is connected to the, uh, the deep control over, possible control over the immune system and the hormonal system, it was considered to be impossible by humans.
But we showed in 2013 in scientific comparative research, people to be in control of what was considered uncontrollable. And now it is in the books. We changed the books in the university. Only it has never been really adopted or understood by the masses. And now we need it. We are overwhelmed now by paranoia, by fear, and uh, we now uh, more than ever need more control over our immune system. And that we can provide. Fear only comes when we have lost a sense of control. And that control we can provide for every person in the world. It is not the presidents, it is not the kings or the dictators who have control over us. We have to become the president. We have to become the king over ourselves. And we have all the tools given by Mother Nature to do so, to make our lives happy, strong and healthy. Happiness is the control over the hormonal system. It's dopamine, serotonin, cannabinoids. And we have shown in the university to have control much deeper over the hormonal uh, processing in the body and through the mind. Then number two, health. Health is the control over the immune system. We have shown how to deepen the control over the immune system at will in university study. So it's also there. That's health, happiness, health, and then strength. Strength is energy, the amount of energy you can possess, you can generate and activate. And we have shown how to get into the cell and to create more energy, more than you need. We have all shown this, but nobody knows about it. And there we have the problem. The problem is that in society, the food industry gives us crap and the pharmaceutical industry is very pleased that we take crap because we become sick. And that they make a lot of money. That's economy. It is money, 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 money. And it should be happiness, strength and health. That is real wealth. So uh, what I see today with uh, George who was killed in, through the police brutality, that is a systemized oppression of uh, a racial difference, uh, different people, or could be poor people. It, it is all part of a system which has insensitive, uh, insensitified themselves of the real core values that are really wealth, really richness, which is happiness, strength, and health. But it is not of the interest of the power, people in power to give natural, free ways and understanding to the people to become really wealthy with possessing happiness, strength, and health. They are not interested and they will keep on trying to get in our minds that we need pills and we need so much food and we need this system and we need war and we need to make more rockets and all that shit. Well, the people ha have no equal share of the energy which was symbolized by money because money has been abused. And, and there we are, that is the real disease. And now we have to stand up. We can show the COVID-19, it will become COVID-20, 21, 23, and the pharmaceutical is gonna take the fruits because everybody needs to be vaccinated. They will keep on promoting it. They are everywhere. They are in the governments, lobbying all over the place. They took over and it is time that people become clear and awaken within themselves individually all through these podcasts 
we bring it out that we have a control far deeper within which it enables us with the guarantee to bring happiness, strength, and health to our lives. Not the way we are schooled, but it should be in the schools now that we are not only learn mathematics, history, and language, but we are going to learn about happiness, strength, and health. And let this be a document, because we have shown it through the signs that it is there, that it is time, that we are able to embrace the future, releasing us from the chains of the past. We can change and we can change for the good, wherein we find a, 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 a world without war, a world without over-exploitation, a world without sodomizing the planet, a world where we have respect for nature, live in harmony with nature, live in harmony with ourselves in love and understanding. This time it's not philosophy, this time it's not flower power, it is based on research. And uh, we need to bring this out, because the walls of the pharmaceuticals, the food industry, the war lobbies and all, they are there. They, they are the real invisible enemy, not the parasite, the, 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 the COVID-19, uh, that, that, that one is invisible. But the real disease is our system and we have to change. We have to make the people strong again. Strong, happy and healthy. Not just strong, look how much nuclear power I got. No, strong like Mother Nature. Happy like Mother Nature gave us all the tools to become happy, strong and healthy. And there we are. So if change can only come by people taking their powers back and start creating their life again, what do you see or feel is currently the biggest roadblock that if unlocked in their own person, in everybody's personal control that they can do, what is one thing that you sense it's still keeping people or the biggest roadblock is keeping them away to getting back control of their life and, and, and health, wellness and happiness? You know, it is the psychology of people. The psychology in people is uh, they play the victim role because they have no alternative to become really good and strong and happy. Too many people have been promising all kinds of things and, uh, and, and it didn't work. And that uh, too low a dose of happiness or strength, or it's all too much money based too much money oriented it needs to be sincere it needs to be real it is like uh, the flame of the people's beliefs have been extinguished through time of too many promises and that we have to rekindle rekindle we have to reawaken that that flame because in the end when people become uh, strong within themselves again with hope, they become stronger than anything. So we have to make that happen. First of all, if we do the uh, techniques which has shown in the science to make people able to control inflammation, inflammation is cause and effect of disease any disease, cause and effect of disease. So uh, if they learn how to uh, tackle inflammation through regular practice, through techniques that work and have shown themselves in science, they should take it on. That's inflammation. And then we got mood. Mood is emotion. How to regulate your mood. Do we have the ability to regulate our mood? This is what I've been showing lately in brain scans with psychiatrists, with professors. I tell them, everybody, listen, you have a innate capacity 
to regulate your own mood. You have the power to make your mood the way you want. And what is the way you want? You want to feel good, but you don't know how to do it. So then you have to uh, 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 look at the translation, how it works with say the hormones. When you get dopamine, you feel, wow, nice, nice. But when you get a lack of dopamine, you feel depressed. And uh, as simple as it is, depression is on the rise in the world. And we don't know how to handle it. We can shoot people to the moon. We cannot handle our own mood. This should be on the agenda because it is an innate capacity of ours to control our mood. That is natural behavior. Now I have been showing this in science. So that's number two. If people are able to battle inflammation, that is disease, that is number one. That's a big thing. And now we can show, we showed how to suppress inflammatory markers. That is one. Two is how to get to the key components to control or regulate our emotion, our mood. Is it there? We have shown this. So this is first. I say first to the person, hey man, do you want to feel good and be in charge of yourself? and uh, prevent yourself from disease, here it is. Here you got the tools. That's where you begin. And I think if you give people a control over their own health, then that is a big step. Because we look at the individual, but all the individuals together is amazing. So if you give them the sense, not only a hope, but a absolute sense of control over their own health, then it's up to us to bring it to the people. Then it all come together. It comes back. Hey, this shit works, man. Shit works. Wow, I'm healing. I got a better control of myself. I got a lot more energy. I can control my mood. It all comes. That's what we do here. I see the roadblocks of too many promises done in the past. That's why I went through science. To be, have no speculation. I am not selling anything. I am the soul. And the soul has the right to be happy, strong and healthy. It is the light itself. You are the soul. We are all the soul. Without the soul, we are nothing. That is the life's force, the force of the light of the life. That is who we are. And the force of the light, when it is strong, it is happy, it is healthy, it is, it is strong, and it passes it on to our children. Instead of, have five cars, six cars, you become more happy. No, 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 it doesn't work. If you shoot people to the moon, no, I want to live on the earth, nicely here and explore here. This is a much nicer place than the Earth or Mars. Man, there's poisonous there. And they go all the way up there. It's crazy. We have to learn to guarantee happiness, strength and health right over here. And I see no roadblocks. I see we do what we can do, Kate Katali. We do what we can do. That is for now, because the result of the past is still present. That's why there is now confusion, but it is also the time of change. People had enough. Enough, it's enough means they can come and make the change now. They want to not follow the past paradigm. It's got to be a new paradigm. And a new paradigm, I look in your heart, I see a good man. I look in everybody's heart, I see a good human. Nobody, if he has the control over himself, is a bad person. It's only because they did not find happiness, strength, and health. They got frustrated, they're confused, and begin to do things 
completely against the soul's laws, which is love. We are group animals. We are mammals. We are group beings. And consciously, we are able to make the change. And now we have shown in science how to do that in our brain and in our body. So the roadblocks, that's the past. We will stand up upon the past, say thank you past, but we have to go on. We have to make changes. We want to be happy, strong and healthy in harmony with nature. That is the future for my kids. That is my future and I am in charge. So I do what I can do and that's enough. And I'll keep on doing it. So that's beautiful, Wim. Thank you for sharing that. I, I, the, the beautiful thing that I find it's, it's a good timing for this type of message is until let's say only a couple of months ago, the world was in a perceived equilibrium. People were going and following the status quo, going to their job, making their money, having their kids, having their cars and family. And now if you look outside the window, there's, there's George Floyd, there's riots, there's pandemics, there's economic um, uh, collapse happening all at the same time. And people have all these confusion, fear, worry, all these feelings coming in at the same time to them. And even though it is unpleasant, at the same time, historically, we know that change happens in times of crisis. So what would you say to people, because this is exactly what you've briefly mentioned in the last sentences you've made. What would you say to people, how can they use this opportunity to transform, transcend the status quo and make their own path, find their own life and create, find their own individual being and develop and contribute to the world. The same you're doing, the same a lot of people are doing, but people are now stuck in sheep mode and stuck in the status quo. So what would you say to people to, to take charge of this and, and take advantage of the opportunity? Yes, uh, very good, Kathleen. I like your explanation. Uh, uh, your speech is also uh, uh, connected to your passion, to the heart. It's very nice. It's uh, intelligence. It's natural wisdom. And that should everybody be doing. Everybody should awaken that he or she is a unique individual, a, a, a unique human being coming from the heart. And from the heart, you want to be good. And from the heart, you are connected. From the heart, you will be able to maintain happiness, strength, and health all time because we are no longer going to su suffocate the way from the heart to the brain by regulations, by systemizing it all, by go sodomizing the planet, by becoming insensitive to what happens in the third world, to kill the wildlife, to destroy nature around us and just keep on going as long as our little garden is okay, then the rest, I don't give a shit. That mentality is gonna go because now we see that the shit has hit the fan. This system does work no more, no longer. The future is awaiting. The future looks much, much brighter. It takes the awakening of people to their own power. Believe, see, feel your own power the way nature meant it to be because that is what we share with every person in the world. We are living the humanity on this planet. There is no fear, there is no borderline. We created the borderlines like lies. And then we are patriots uh, when we kill a uh, hundred people uh, on the other side, then we are uh, heroes. And then the uh, hero from the other side comes and is gonna mess up on this side, 100 people, and then he's a hero. Murderers become heroes. And this is what is happening with these stupid lies. Well, everybody is a lovable creature. We have to change the paradigm, live in harmony with each other, and in harmony with nature around us. It's providing us. We, as humanity, we are insignificant, let me tell you. If we keep on going the way we do, 
We destroy our future, the future of humanity, the love for our children. We make it inhospitable for our children to live in a world polluted, uh, exploited, sodomized, becoming insensitive, and, 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 and we leave it because we only look to our egotism. That egotism needs to stop. We need to live from the heart. And it is very easy and very beneficial for every person to come and live from the heart because there's your happiness, you can feel it. There's your strength, you can feel it. And there is your health, you can feel it. And why not take that? It's now there and it has been shown through science that we have a much greater possible control over happiness, strength and health. And with that, don't get, they ask me, Wim, what is enlightenment? Uh, and please, can you tell it in one sentence? I say, oh, okay, here it comes. Just be happy, strong and healthy and the rest is bullshit. But they have been feeding us with bullshit and we think it is normal. We think it, we gotta swallow it. This is the way we gotta live. And, uh, and now you see there is a big mess. It's time for people to become happy, strong and healthy. The rest is bullshit. It's time that we leave the bullshit backwards. It's okay to fertilize the, the land, but it's not okay to swallow bullshit and live with that all the time. It's a, it, it's a, a way of uh, speech, but what, uh, the solution to the nowadays problem and the way people can uh, take this is Hey man, what I give you is evidence-based. It's scientifically evidence-based and it shows that a much bigger control over your own happiness, strength and health is awaiting. And that in harmony with nature is logical because you are part of nature. What the tree expels is what we need, that is oxygen. What we expel is what the tree needs. We are one with nature and that is a simple fact and when that comes then then this place the the world is really a, a paradise and compared to the moon and mars and venus it, it is the best place in the universe that is our future and it is awaiting so uh, no worries to nobody just live up to your own happiness your own strength and your own health and don't have it influenced negatively by any shit regulation rule uh, paradigm whatever they uh, they say in the end we are humans and we should serve our soul with happiness strength and health thank you Wim uh, one last message and we'll we'll finish I feel in your message of course, there's the physiological aspect and the method and the breeding and the cold and, and the heat and all of these things. But what I feel is the deeper message yes. and, your, and your experiments and, your, and everything that you've done and your Kilimanjaro and all the things you've, you've, went, and done, you, you've went you've done, you're basically showcasing and encouraging and inspiring people to look beyond the limitation of have, that have been put by society or by us to ourselves and look beyond that. So I will ask you this to end this. What is a message that you would like to leave people with that you feel you maybe not haven't got to share of what is possible? Because if what you've done is possible and it has been perceived as been impossible before you've done it, what else is there? Wow, yes. Uh, <clears throat> let me prelude the last message. Uh, the last time I climbed the Kilimanjaro in shorts, I was accompanied with a person who was suffering from Lyme's disease. He had no experience in climbing mountains whatsoever. And he was 76 years old. And he climbed the Kilimanjaro in his shorts to, from the tropics to the Arctic zone, which is really cold and less than half the oxygen is over there. 76 years old, never been in the mountains, 
There he came with me, suffering from Lyme's disease. He did it in 30 hours, what normally is being done in five to nine days, fully dressed because it is too cold, according to the physiologist and the mountain, mountaineering clubs and all that. He did it in 30 hours in shorts. Having Lyme's disease, being 76 years old, there is no end if you put your spirits to your happiness, to your strength, to your health, to the love of life for you, yourself, and for your children. There is really no limit. The love is like the unlimited power of the mind. Last thing, when you are in love uh, with somebody, you, you don't ask yourself, hey, uh, what is love? Uh, is love good, yes or no? Uh, what can I do with love? No, you just want to go to where the love is awaiting for you. You want to become one with the love. And that love is the life. Become one with the life. It has all the happiness, strength and health. Far more than we thought possible by science. Far more than has been set through all the systems, governments, uh, etc., and all the schooling. It is time that we guarantee very confidently to our children and to ourselves that we are beings of love, composed by happiness, strength, and health completely within our, our control. Our world is changing. Getting ready to exceed our current mind and body limitations can be the way to defeat future lockdowns and alienation in a world where shutdowns and disruption could become the norm. If you do something and it does not give you the outcome you want, you have two choices. One is to think about what you did wrong and what can you do to improve. This implies that you believe you are in control of your life. And although doing this is painful in the short term, in the medium and long term, it always proves very rewarding and meaningful. The second one is to think that the whole game is rigged, that you are a victim, that you are reactive, and you have no control over your reality. Therefore, you do the least necessary to get by, or even worse, you take revenge on reality. It seems that the reasonable truth is that we do have control over our reality. Of course, the only way to really know is to do it and observe which one makes you feel aligned, true, strong, and allows you to live a meaningful and happy life. The transition from power to powerlessness and vice versa always happens in small, incremental steps. Each and every decision we make, every single day, every single minute, tilts the world a tiny bit more towards one or the other. Or metaphorically speaking, it turns the world a bit more towards heaven or hell. You are equipped with everything you need and doing Wim's techniques is a good starting point in that journey so that you can reach your full potential and become a beam of light for others as well. Just imagine, if all of us would do that, how would the world look like? And remember, once aware and on the path, your superhuman powers will be integrated into your experience and all will soon become the new normal. As a final note, if you wanna learn more about the Wim Hof Method, and you want a good place to start, I highly encourage you to check out the free mini three-part course on their website, which goes through cold showers, the power of the mind, and breathing as the three, three core pillars in three videos. Then their free Win Half Method app, which goes into a lot of other benefits as well, and you have a lot of great stuff there. And obviously their main web website, WimHoffMethod.com, and Wim's social media accounts. The exact links for these will be listed below in the description so you can actually check them out and I really do hope you're gonna enjoy them. Now, 
Thank you for watching. I really do hope you have enjoyed this documentary. If you did, feel free to share it with anybody in your near surroundings, friends, family, on social media, with anybody that you think would benefit from this message. This is the best way to share this type of message and allow people to awaken. So other than that, make sure to subscribe and check the notification button so that you'll be notified of future videos we come up with. We have in plan to do more videos in this series of Superhuman, The New Normal, on adjacent themes that are really, really relevant and others that Wim Hof touches on. So these are with people that you, you most likely know about and you'll be very excited to learn from. So if you wanna join us on that journey and see the next videos in the series, click the subscribe button. Thank you again for watching and I hope you have an extraordinary rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you.